In a small room in Republican West Belfast, a different Republican voice. Republican Sinn Féin aren't sitting in Stormont. Republican Sinn Féin... Every other political party has condemned the recent murders in Northern Ireland. So what about this one? Well, for a start, I don't uh, accept uh, the use of the term murder. Um, what is it? Well, they're, they're acts of war. He then went further. We have always upheld the right of the Irish people to use... Uh, any level of controlled and disciplined force to uh, drive the British out of Ireland. Although the group denies having a paramilitary wing, it's widely believed to be linked to the continuity IRA. It killed police officer Stephen Carroll here in Craigavon two weeks ago. Republican Sinn Féin opposed the Good Friday Agreement. They lost that vote and have virtually no electoral support. It was a point made tonight by the Irish Prime Minister at a business dinner in County Down. He said no one could call the killing of two young soldiers and a policeman an act of war. I think it was an act of murder, pure and simple, and uh, appalling rhetoric has no place in the, in the modern contemporary Ireland we live in today. That is seeking to reconcile. There will always be voices of division and indeed hatred um, amongst us, but they don't represent anybody. They have no mandate. The last few weeks in Northern Ireland have shown just how politically isolated dissident Republican groups are. Yes, they have some supporters, but not many. In fact, most people here regard the recent murders as simply killing for killing's sake. Mark Simpson, BBC News, Belfast.